Good. Good. Better. Better. Woo! Now grab hold of the cattle. Pull that butt right down in that saddle. And do it from the pommel. Loosen those hips. Windmill. Okay. <laughs> Just scared him. Okay, now pick up your stirrups. And counter seated. Can you put your heel down more and put your lower leg a little more forward because it's too far back right now. Push your lower leg forward from the heel. Halt in front of me. <clears throat> Relax. Yes. Push it back here. Yes. From your heel, put your heel down. Put your heel down, touch my hand. Yeah, so it's 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 oh. it's this. Touch my hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. Press a big hip up there. You feel that? Yeah. You feel that versus this? So I'm gonna ding you. You're gonna ride in front of me on the flat, and this leg is here. You're off the card. Right? This. And you're off the card twice. So, so you, you want to get better at those things, right? At the lower leg, build up, correct position of the lower leg, and we all did tons of this stuff on the lunge line. Tons of it. I started in Tony Club, I did it in eventing, I did it on the jumping team. And Denemothy used to do, take the team riders. Believe it or not, the best of the Olympic team, Steinkraus, George Morris, when they were riding in Europe, and lunged them in Europe with, every day. When they were riding on the team, he said he even did it at the Olympic Games. Rented horses at the Olympic Games and did it. Steinkraus goes in one day to the team and he says, Bert, will you lunge me? This is after four Olympic Games. Will you lunge me? I, Danny Emerson says, why? He says, I want to improve my seat. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, let me see if you can put that light where I want it now in the, in the camera. And then we'll start to before I finish you off in the flat. Literally. If you think you're putting it forward enough, exaggerate it more because you're probably not. Exaggerate it more to the front. Feel my, remember where my hand was? Touch my hand with that, there you go. Touch my hand with a the toe, there you go. There you go. Better, is that hard? Yeah, both legs, both legs, real forward with your leg, exaggerated, yeah, more, now is he a little behind your leg, so that doesn't help, does it, that doesn't help the leg being where it should be, because you got to use your leg all the time, it goes back, kick him up once so he's a little attentive to your leg, and then put your heels way down, your heel, and your leg forward more, let me see your two points, Pretty good. Put your leg forward more in the heel. Yeah. More. More. Come on. Here. Watch me. Put it out there. Put it out there. Right in the point of his shoulder. The point of his shoulder. Where's the point of his shoulder? Yes. Yes. Again. Yes. More. Yes. And walk. 
Earth. And you think it's, oh, it's way out there. It's this much. You think this much, you'll get this much. Let's go the other way. Now, these are, the, these are the key basics for you to practice, right? You want to be a better rider, right? That's why you're here. These are the key basics. Let's see your left leg. Nice, canter departure. Cap seat. Turn right into the rail, and I want you to canter over that cross rail uh, toward me where Mary's breaking. Toward me, look, make a circle through the middle of the ring and do that twice. <laughs> Heads up. Fix your lower leg here. You have nothing to think about but your position. Lower leg being key. Leg forward more. Way forward more. Then jump your line here. Cross rail to the seahorse in front of me. And it is uh, five forward or short six. in the center of the ring on a right circle. Yeah. On the right circle. Whoa. We just went out of the... We, Elvis has left the building. Stay inside the ring. So not so fast over that. I'm going to move behind right there. Not so fast over that center jump because you're going to turn inside me. It's still a little bit too fast. Yeah. Slow down. And you're going to get the center jump and the end jump, the sailboat, on a circle. Slowly. Yeah, they're very good. Yeah, now slow down again. Walk over here for a second. Uh, put your heels down, your leg forward now. Take your leg off the horse. No, I'm, I mean, yeah, I mean, they're back and in his sides. Take them off, the, not off the side this way, but I mean, put your leg in a normal position because all around that turn, as you were walking, your leg's back here and clamped on the horse. So if I, if I do this all the time to you, and then I say, you're getting numb to that, aren't you? So you go forward and you go, what? I'm numb to that. No, leg is here. Go forward, you react. Here again. Go forward, you react. Here again, right? Go forward, it didn't happen. Go forward, okay. Like here again, you know, but never on unless you expect a reaction from the horse. Um, oh, I was going to say, you come around this turn here. And you want to keep the horse out a little bit, right, on the curve, so it didn't cut in. You're not using the left opening rein quite enough. So you're trying everything from the inside rein. You know, pushing over 1,100 pounds from the inside rein. Lead it over, shape the neck with the inside rein. So don't, don't open in the outside rein and use all inside rein. This rein has a great influence on, on the track, right, to open and say, stay out. This hand slightly toward it shapes the neck. You got this part down, but this one's not working quite enough. All right, let's do the two jumps. That was weird what he did over there, wasn't it? Yeah. 
What is that all about? Not me either. Let's do those two again. Left brain opens. Oh, beautiful. There you go. Left brain opens. Left brain opens. Left brain opens. Yes, you see that right there, how that works? And walk, very good, very good. Julia, you see what I mean here? How that beautifully holds that track out. Both reins and an inside leg. Use your inside aids too. Like now inside aids as well. Yeah, like that. Keep them rounder. Yeah, very good. Walk. Good. I want you to do this line here uh, think on, the, on this side of the ring, it's the gate uh -huh. to the green, five yards, five. And it's a nice five. Then turn right and do the uh, single oxer on the diagonal, yeah? To the sailboat jump. Uh, no, no. And then on the next diagonal, you'll see the uh, seahorse on the diagonal. Just follow the road. Seahorse diagonal. Right? And then left turn down that outside line is a, is a little bit of a quiet four. That'd be it. So, five strides. Oxer, sailboat. Seahorse left to the outside line, quiet four. Yeah.
job. Really good. Quite good. You happy? That was quite good, wasn't it? So, if we were to do that again, we have a tendency to ride with hands that are about this far apart. Right? You manage the whole course like this, in the air, everything's down. I like wider hands. They're more efficient. How much wider? Separate between your thumbs about five and a half, six inches. About the width of this mouth. But between your thumbs. You know, but, but, but I don't hold the reins like this. I hold them like this. Here you Yeah, yeah, yeah. So between your thumbs about six inches. And then you manage the horse with reins that are that wide and that wide. And then you, know, you can keep a horse in a much straighter line than you can with narrow hands, because narrow hands you gotta fish. You know? Wide hand, wider hands, the wider your hands, the straighter you keep the horse. So if I'm riding a jumper, I mean I'll fluctuate between here and here and here and here or a green horse. Amputation, I'm gonna pretty much be about the same. You know? It's the same. Other than that, I don't think I want to change anything, except the course. <laughs> except the course. Uh, I'm going to add that bend in the line. I don't know the distance, so I'm going to let you do it off your eye. So we start with a five, and then we have the black vertical to this oxer. I don't know what that is, but you will. You will see it, right? Yeah. And then, and then we're going to skip the sailboat. And we have... A, uh, this blue surfboard jump going this way. Right. To the red vertical. Left turn to the seahorse that way. And your uh, Shark on the bend. So let's talk about it again. One, two, bending line to the oxer. Blue vertical. Red. Bending line of the seahorse shark. So, and we'll think about in between the jumps, wider hands. your horse. Uh, nice, isn't it? Yeah. Separate your hands a little wider. 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 Mary, look at the outcome of the wider hands in the air. Yes? In the air, the automatic release comes automatically just by widening her hands. Wider. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Now, I love, I love what that did to your hands. That widening your hands in between the jumps automatically kept them a little wider over the jump, which produced a following arm, the automatic release, perfectly, which moved you up in my book, as, as a judge, moved you up 10 notches to another level, that release, rather than press so tight in the neck, you know what I mean? And it allowed your horse to use his neck a little bit more, it was beautiful. You feel that? Yeah, beautiful. 
Now, without changing a thing, take, don't change. Look at your right foot. I said don't change. You changed. You had your leg back and your heel in the horse's side. <laughs> so that's constant just focus. You know what I mean? It's habit. So it's focus to get out of the habit. You know? Anytime your leg co is, you know, comes on a horse, more than normal, you should, it, you're asking the horse to do something, laterally or forward, so it was just hanging in there, it kind of makes them ignore your leg more and more, that's it, yeah. Well, I love that, I want to do that again, if we're not, are we doing too much with your horse? Are we okay? I don't want to over jump him, but we've got one more course we can do, right? Yeah, all right, let's see. Okay, got it. Did you log the distance here between that and that boxer? What was it? Six, easy six, right? Good. So we're going to start, we're going to start with that black gate off your left knee, going this way. Yeah? Make the right turn for the easy six on the bend. Right in here, yeah, right in here to the red, left turn, and this line backwards, the other way. Let's go, and then there's more to it, let's, let's rehearse that again. Black, six strides to the birch, left, left turn, no, I'm lost, left, 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 oh, to the birch, and then around the tree to the red. Left down this line. I'm going to put this up and you'll do the blue uh, surfboard to the seahorse. 